it's easy to understand how Hoffman reaction works by thinking of this as car an amide. So this is a carboxylic acid derivative. Obviously, this Br group is going to be attracted to the N group over here. So the N group is going to donate its electrons to this Br group. And once that happens, this H has to be pulled out. Okay, the H is popped out. That makes sense. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to protonate this uh, this N NHBr group. All right. Once you've done that, you basically put an H group on this thing. Once you've done that, you put an H group. You um, yeah. You basically have put an H group on this thing, right? Or better yet. Uh, yeah, deprotonate one of these. Um, so once you've deprotonated, say you deprotonate this H group, right? You have a negative charge. Once you've had the negative charge on this, well, you have to take this R group and just move it to where the N group is. And once that happens, this BR group pops right out. So the BR group is popped out. And this BR group, which is now a negative charge, is basically going to go on this... Uh, is going to be left behind, and this N R bonded to an N group, bonded double uh, double bonded now to a carbon, which is double bonded to a carbon is going to be stabilized. Now you're just going to add water. So once you've added the water, the water is going to attach itself to the carbon, and once it does that, it's going to deprotonate one of its ions, right? And so this is, has to also pop out pop out one of its uh, bonds, so the bond is going to go back to the nitrogen and it's going to absorb a hydrogen to stabilize it. And of course, once you've got this strange complex, you uh, decarboxylate it, so hydrolyze and then de decarboxylate. So look at where the OH is, you know it's here. So take this part out, so all you're left with, with is R bonded to an N with now two H's because you have to stabilize the, com the compound, right? 